Thomas the Tank Engine of the RS SSM series second story is Thomas Train. Thomas often grumbled because he was not allowed to pull passenger trains. The other engines laughed. You're too impatient, they said. You'd be sure to leave something behind. Rubbish, said Thomas. Ah, crossly. Just you wait, I'll show you. One night, he and Henry were alone. Henry was ill. The men worked hard, but he didn't get better. Now Henry usually pulls the first train in the morning, and Thomas had to get his coaches ready. If Henry is ill, he thought, perhaps I shall pull his train. Thomas ran along to find the coaches. Come along, come along, he fussed. There's plenty of time, there's plenty of time, the coaches grumbled. He took him to the platform and wanted to run around in front at once. But his driver wouldn't let him. Don't be impatient, Thomas. Tom Thomas waited and waited. The people got in. The guard and the station master walked up and down. The porter banged the door. And still, Henry didn't come. Thomas got more and more excited every minute. The fact director came to see what was the fu to see what was the matter. And the guard and the station master told him about Henry. Find another engine, he ordered. There's only Thomas, they said. You'll have to do it then, Thomas. Be quick now. So Thomas ran around in front and back down on the coaches, ready to start. Let's not be, don't be impatient, said the driver. We'll wait till everything is ready. But Thomas was too excited to listen to a word he said. What happened? No one knows. Perhaps they forgot to couple Thomas to the train. Or perhaps Thomas was too impatient until they wait to were ready. Or perhaps the driver pulled the real lever by mistake. Anyhow, Thomas started. The people shouted, waved at him, but he didn't stop. They're waving because I'm such a splendid, re splendid engine, he thought importantly. Henry says it's hard to pull trains, but I think it's easy. Hurry, 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 he puffed, pretending to be like Gordon. As he passed the first signal bus, he saw men leaning out of the window, waving and shouting. They're pleased to see me, he thought. They never see me pulling a train before. It's an accident to wave. And he whistled. Beep, beep. Thank you, as he hurried along. But he came to a signal at danger. Bother! He thought, I must stop. And I was going so nicely, too. What a nuisance signals are. He blew an angry peep peep on his whistle. One of the station, one of the signalmen ran up. Hello, Thomas. He said, What are you doing here? I'm pulling a train, said Thomas proudly. Can't you see? Where are your coaches then? Thomas looked back. <gasps> Why, bless me! If we haven't left them behind. Yes, said the same woman. You better go back and fetch them quickly. Poor Thomas was so sad he nearly cried. Cheer up, says driver. Let's go back quickly and try again. At the station, all the... All the passengers were talking at once. They were telling the fact director what a... And the station master and the guard what a bad railway it was. But when Thomas came back, he saw how sad he was and couldn't be cross. So they were coupled to the train, and this time he really pulled it. But long afterwards, the other engines laughed at Thomas and said, Look, there's Thomas who wanted to pull a train, but forgot about the coaches. But Thomas already learned not to make the same mistake again. Next story, Thomas and the Trucks. Stay tuned for more RSSSM.